I was driving in from yeah. Detroit. I got a call around 5 p.m. We thought we were pretty much done and ready to stage the house, get everything all moved in, and it turns out that's not exactly the case. Pretty much it's a construction site. But you know, I was not surprised to hear that. So many people had warned me that these things take exactly double the time that you allot for them, no matter what. And honestly, the responsibilities of dealing with an orchestra are so much more complex. I'm not stressed out, believe it or not. It's just now a lot more stuff to do. One way or another, that truck filled with probably about you know, 8,000 pounds worth of stuff is going in there. So we're gonna squeeze it in. It's gonna be like toothpaste, but it's gonna, it's gonna get inside that house one way or another. So the piano is eventually going to go right there, along with the organ. Um, the, the old piano that I'm bringing from Detroit is going to go upstairs in kind of more of a, of a second rehearsal area. So I've got two pianos, a keyboard, and an organ. And I'll probably need to buy a harpsichord at some point. It's really important that, that the atmosphere matches the experience. And that's one of the very important things to me about uh, any kind of musical interaction, whether it's a concert or something informal. A lot of times I think in the classical music world, the experience um, is not actually all that comfortable. And that's one of the reasons why people have shied away. It's all the things other than the music that have bothered people about actually getting involved in, in orchestras or, or in so-called classical music. I play jazz, I'll play funk, I'll play klezmer, I'll play bluegrass, and I'll play Mozart and Beethoven for sure. So I'm, that just sounds like music to me. But anyway, the point is if people are coming in here to experience music, it needs to be a beautiful and, uh, and I think um, comfortable existence while they're here. And so that's what we're trying to, to create. So I've got all sorts of wacky couches coming um, from all over the place. I knew I wanted to come here from, from the beginning. Louisville was completely open. They're, they're ready to try anything. They've had their ups and they've had their downs. It's, it's about finding a place where the fit is going to really be compatible. And uh, more than compatible, but, but one where the visions are shared. The energy is incredible. Something is calling out to be a place where people can experience great art and, and come together. You know, the whole idea is that I'm coming here, I'm supposed to be living, working, breathing music in Louisville. You know, what better way to do that than have my home be a center for, for music? I'm very excited. I mean, I like to say this is the time of the Louisville Orchestra, and that means figuring out how we're going to create an orchestra that is relevant and meaningful. And the musicians all want that, so it's a no-brainer for me. This is the place to go. The 
ideas and the possibilities are really limitless. But it starts with the music, it starts with the art. And that goes right, right up to you know, practicing here. Why not open this window? Why not get some outdoor speakers and let people hear what's going on? So if a soloist comes and stays here, they'll rehearse. Maybe they'll, they'll just want to do informal reading chamber music parties in, in, in late at night after rehearsals or something like that. But, but there should be constant music, so it feels kind of like a festival. It sends a powerful message that the direction we should be going with, with music is one where we show people person to person why what we do is important, why what we do is, is meaningful and, and uh, it changes lives. Oh, yeah. that, might, that might help too. Next couple weeks are crazy. And, and as they should be, I've said, you're, you, you pretty much schedule me anytime you want. My, my time is your time. That's, that's, the, that's the point of leadership, I think. You know, I, I've got to do whatever it takes for this organization. And so as soon as I, this is my clear week. This is when I'm supposed to figure out my life. I get one week to do that, apparently. Then it goes into the orchestra week. And, and then I, I can't, that's why I'm trying to so desperately get everything done. Because as soon as I go into rehearsals and get ready for Fanfara, which is our opening concert, my time is, is over. There's no more time to move furniture. It's, that's just, and besides, I have like four people staying here the first week alone. I'm putting it into practice right away. Thank you.